Well, would you look at that? Looks like I'm doing yet another Sims 4 Legacy. Hello guys, Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome to what I'm going to be calling the Evermore Legacy. This is just going to be my take on the Random Legacy Challenge, which is something that I found just while sort of browsing the internet. I stumbled upon, um, I, I, have, a, I have a hobby, a habit, a hobby, whatever you want to call it of like looking for like new unique ways to play the sims and i stumbled upon the random legacy uh generator uh it's the website's called sims random i'll put the link in the description probably have it pop up on the screen and is it raining oh no it's not raining i think it's just is it just the waterfall i'm hearing maybe i don't know either way uh, welcome, guys. I got so sidetracked right off the right at the start, right off the bat. So please excuse me for that. Um. Anyways, uh, the 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 main thing with the random legacy generator challenge thing, whatever it's called, is that every generation you roll on the generator that you can find at SimsRandom.com to see what sort of lifestyle uh, the heir of the next generation will lead. And that will determine like whether you have a spouse or some helpers who happen to live in the house, um, how many kids you'll have, what your career will be, what your goal is for the generation, and some other fun things that you can like sprinkle into your gameplay. And uh, there are there are some restrictions. For example, we have to live on the same lot for the entire duration of this legacy, which um, I'm actually playing on a save file made by Floralia. This is the this is kind of a modified version of one of the starter houses from the Floralia save file. But yeah, I, I modified it. Originally, it would, like, blended in a little bit more with, like, the way that Glimmerbrook looks. But I decided to give it a little bit more of a spooky look, and I have a reason for doing that. Oh, and it looks like we got, uh, what did we get? Oh, we knit, we knit for a full hour, apparently. Awesome. I am just gonna let, uh... Just gonna let our sim do that for now. Oh boy. Oh, and we're level 2 of the knitting school skill. How nice. Um, anyways, I, I stumbled upon the, um... I stumbled upon the generator, and I decided to click on the roll button a few times, see what would happen. And then, like, I settled upon one roll. Uh, what, what I rolled is that uh, we are going to have a single sim who only has one kid in their lifetime and they have to become a paranormal investigator. They have to spend a lot of time knitting and uh, making stuff like for holidays and such for like like all the special sims in their life, for holidays to wear, um, for birthdays, events, all sorts of things. That is the generational goal. And um... We also have to start a club that is going to have a bunch of spellcasters and such uh, hanging out in Glimmerbrook and uh, learning how to, like, do potions and herbalism and uh, cast spells and such. So I just really loved the idea, it just really appealed to me. So uh, just the, the idea of having this young witch sim who loves knitting and uh, is, like, investigating paranormal activity, I love that it just appealed to me so i kind of went ahead and made uh who i'm calling lydia evermore and by giving her the surname evermore i i got the name from um oh did you finish that oh i think did, did you finish it <gasps> you finished the beanie oh that's so cute anyways uh lydia evermore here um, I, I got the surname Evermore from a series I watch uh, by Shovel, uh, wh who is like part of like a series called Empire's SMP, where like her empire is called the Evermore, and she is a witch who's dealing with a haunted fog, and she's also got like so it's, like really adorable like flowers and like builds and such, and it's like I kind of accidentally made uh, Shelby 2.0 here, but that's fine. It's fine. We're just we're just gonna roll with it, I suppose. I'm also a little bit out of it because it is literally like 2 a.m. right now, but you know what, it's all fine. Uh, for some reason, I'm more motivated to record now than I normally am like during the day, but it's all fine. Am I gonna edit this? I don't know. 
Who knows? Maybe the maybe this manic energy from 2 a.m. is all I need. Knitting project complete. Looking, Lydia. Yep, it's right here. So we have a little beanie. Oh, uh, we can donate it to charity. We can frog it. We can. We could list it on Plopsy, except um, another rule for the random legacy, uh, the le random legacy challenge, is that uh, you cannot make money in any means except for what it what you rolled. Meaning that if you rolled a, that your sim has to be unemployed, they don't get to make money. If you roll like your sim has to like be an animal trainer, they can only make money off of like having cats and dogs performing tricks and such. And if you like me, you rolled paranormal investigator, uh, you can't actually join the paranormal uh, gig. Like I can show you right here once you're done calling. You can't actually choose the paranormal investigator trade until you have a license. And the only way to get a license is if you speak to a uh, Guidry on a haunted house residential lot. And or or you could get it for like 3000 points from the reward store, but we're not doing that because that takes so much time. And it would be faster for us to be able to make money if we were to speak to Goodry. So, this is a haunted house. Part of the reason that I made this place, like, all, like, spooky and dark, instead of, like, the really pretty, like, woodsy tones and, like, warm bricks that it was before, is because I wanted to make this place a haunted place. And Lydia here, uh, she's kind of moved in, she's made it her own, She's kind of cozied it up a little bit with, like, the interior. I didn't change the interior, just the exterior. But she- I don't know if she actually knows what she's getting into here. I don't know if she knows that this place is gonna be haunted, that this place is gonna wind up having, like, some spooks at night and such. But it's all fine. Um. So, I'm gonna, like- definitely be interested in like seeing where her story is going to take her in the future. I kind of spent all of her money on the starter home, but then when I was like trying to like edit the house a little bit and make it darker, I wound up somehow getting money back by changing the colors of the walls. Because it's technically a different type of brick that's less expensive, but it's all good. At the very least, I, I was worried at first because like, oh, we only have like 20 simoleons left. I, I got her this chair and then that, that was all I could afford. And I was very concerned, but now I see I don't have to be concerned. Oh, actually, uh, let's go ahead and plant the stuff in these bins. Uh, this, this cottage did come with a starter herbalism seeds packet that had two seeds in it. And I think it'll be a good idea for us to plant them so we can, like, get started on, like, potions and such. I'm already starting- oh! We like gardening? Sure! Awesome! Lydia enjoys gardening. That is awesome. I actually really like that. That is very perfect for her as I've uh, intended her to be. I've, like, been trying to, like, think, like, okay, if we can only live on one lot, and this place is very tiny, the lot itself is tiny, where am I going to fit things in? I think, like, having a basement will be, like, very useful in the future. I could, like, expand over here so we could have, like, a little stairwell going down, and eventually maybe an upstairs as well. Oh, dear. I got a little laggy, but that's fine. Also, time does seem to be going a little bit slower. I... I tried messing around in like an updated version of MCCC that I didn't um I didn't realize like ha like I decided like maybe I'll give myself like a little bit extra time because I always used to complain like oh my gosh I don't have enough time to interact with my Sims like during the day and now it feels like it's going a little too slowly but I think it's fine who knows it's all good but yeah anyways we are kind of a little bit broke, and according to the rules, we aren't supposed to be making any money from any other sources besides our job, which we cannot actually join yet. So, um, place is a haunted house, 
And I might try and, like, like, if I need to, wait, are we about to have, <gasps> hang on, are we about to have the welcome wagon? I think we're about to have the welcome wagon. It's Grace and Nancy! Let's do a friendly introduction. You know, yeah, let's, let's hang out with the welcome wagon. Let's go introduce ourselves to Grace. Y you can get up out of the rocking chair. Yep, come on. Go introduce ourselves to Grace, to Daryl Charm, and whoever else. Oh, you apparently don't have a good opinion of us, but let's invite everybody in. Uh, we think that Grace is responsible, at least. Oh, I don't think I've gone through uh, what our uh, traits are here. Are we gonna invite everybody in, or are we just gonna be completely blankly chatting? I thought I have the more personality please Grace mod installed. Oh, here we go. Listen to Grace's question. Move around. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and invite everybody in. We haven't got a chance to chat. Awesome. Let's invite everybody in. Here we go. Our place is tiny, but that's fine. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I really like the way that uh, Floralia has like edited everyone. Grace and Nancy is actually like one of my f one of my favorite Sims. Honestly, like I recognize her immediately from like I I started getting into Sims 4 when Realm of Magic came out, so I recognize Grace like right away. Grace looks really cool, and of course there's Grace's roommate Tomax Colette. And then we have uh, the charms here. We have uh, Amelia Ernest, who I guess is technically not a charm yet, but she's she's on her way to becoming one with Daryl Charm, who apparently has a bit of scruff here. Not looking too bad, actually. But actually, but anyways. Inviting everybody in, and let's go ahead. Where are the... Uh, what is our symbology? Okay, uh, so, looking at Lydia, the way I made her, apparently, is that Lydia is apparently a cheerful sim, who is also a genius and very neat. That actually explains, like, why when I first loaded up the game, the first thing she did was go and clean the toilet, even though it's never been used before. So, that explains some things. Uh-oh, she does not look happy over here. Are you okay, Amelia? Uh, let's do a great new neighbor! Hey! How are you doing? And meanwhile, Daryl is memorizing. <laughs> Daryl's in the process of, like, gaining a new memory, apparently. <laughs> oh! Oh! What is happening here? Oh boy! <laughs> And these guys are also angry. Didn't they just like release a patch today that is supposed to reduce? I feel like a third wheel here. We, we're being insulted by Amelia. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm I'm with Lydia here. Like, what is happening here? We just invited our new neighbors here, and immediately we are getting yelled at by them. What? What is happening here? And then these two, just in the other room, are just kind of hanging out. There's all sorts of drama happening, and I have no idea what to make of it. <laughs> what do you think, Lydia? Maybe you can, like, try and help them work things out? Who knows? This is a weird angle. Sorry, I was just getting some screenshots. Oh, Anyways. At the very least, we can get to know. Let's let's go ahead and greet uh, Daryl, and then let's greet Tomax. These two are also having some fun. Everybody is not having a good time. Oh dear. 
What's happening? We had an aggravating conversation. First impressions are strong. Oh dear. What do you think, Tomax? You okay? Oh, I think- I don't know if you think that we are awful or what? Too full of yourself. Somebody else is too full of himself? Is it Tomax here? Tomax? Uh, we think that Tomax is distant. Uh, this may be only be a first impression, but this thing seems distant and inapproachable. Okay, how do we feel about everybody else? Amelia? Uh, Amelia thinks that we're admirable and we think that Amelia is admirable. Uh, on first meeting them, Sim, uh, Sim seems to, to Lydia as much of an as a much an admirable individual. Okay, so we could get along with Amelia. Daryl. We think Daryl is pretentious, and Daryl thinks that we are in dreamland. Okay. I'm really hoping that everybody being all sorts of like upset right now is gonna calm down because I'm. Pretty sure there was a like they literally released a patch today that's supposed to reduce the amount of like mean interactions. I mean, this is just mischief here, and like Amelia and Daryl are angry about stuff. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna goof around with uh with Grace a little bit. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna let them just kind of do their own thing. At the very least, we're getting along with these two. The, uh, the... I like how, like, we're getting along with these two. Uh, this pair of, like, spellcasting roommates. And meanwhile, like, Daryl and his fiance are, like, on opposite sides of the house, just both completely pissed off at each other. Um... Anyways. Uh, speaking of, like, friends and neighbors, though, um, I do think it'd be fun if, like, you you guys will, like, see some townies wa wandering around. I think it'd be fun if I had some sims that you guys submit as townies for this game. We're, we're gonna, about to go and polish the stove. That's fine. Sure. But yeah, I think it'd be fun to, like, add sims that you guys have created to the game to, like, potentially become, like, friends with Lydia, to become, like, members of whatever her spellcasting club will be in the future. It could just be, like, really fun. He's got an uncaring, like, demeanor to him right now. You okay there? Meanwhile, she's angry. Oh, you're satisfied now, that's fine. But yeah, like, in older legacies, I used to, like, ask people, like, hey, if you want to submit your sims, feel free to do that. But I used to do it pretty late in the legacy, so I don't think anybody, like, ever actually did. There was, like, one person, and it was the same person for both of my older legacies that I've done who would submit sims. But anyways, if you guys want to submit sims for, uh, this challenge, who can, like, become friends with Lydia, who might, like, be fellow spellcasters, maybe they are also, like, investigating the paranormal themselves. May they don't have to be spellcasters, they could just be to totally normal humans that, like, she meets and runs into. Potential love interests. She's gonna stay single, so she wouldn't be able to marry them. But still, if you have any sims that you would like to submit to the game, uh, feel free to do so by uh, submitting your sim with the hash to the Sims 4 gallery. With the hashtag salty sweet evermore, uh, I'll like post it, like a little the hashtag on the screen so you know like how we, like it'd be spelled and such. And um, I will like start adding your guys' Sims to my game over time because I think that'd just be a lot of fun. I hope these guys are all doing okay because there is all sorts of ridiculousness going on. I hope that these two are, at least, gonna get along. Where are you off to, Tomax? Are you off to go and, like, go jogging? Oh! Uh, Tomax, why? No. Why? Did I break my game? Please tell me I did not break my game by- Tomax, you broke my game! 
And we're back! Oh boy! Did you just knock over my trash can? I can't believe this is the first thing I come back to! Great! Thank you for this, uh, Amelia. And my fears and wants have come back too. I thought I turned that off, but I guess it just pops back up. That's fine. We want to, we want to flirt with Daryl! Daryl is engaged! Excuse me! Excuse me. Okay, do you two get along, at least? I don't think they do. Get along with Grace, at least. And we do want to goof around with Daryl. I want to listen to romance music, because we apparently like romance music. Okay, my game's a little laggy, but you know what? That's kind of to be expected, I suppose. Huh? Either way, he does not seem to be receptive to being friendly right now. Ask what happened. What happened? What did happen? Are you okay? Are you okay, Daryl? Why? What's going on with you and your fiance? Why are you two not getting along? I don't think he's in a playful mood. Let's try and... Well, let's thank him for coming. Try to calm down, perhaps? The tour. Hey! Okay, calming him down is not really working, it seems. Nope. Oh, we've learned that Daryl's hot-headed, though. That could be a big part of, like, why things are not going so well. Yeah, maybe not. Um, Amelia, can we chat with you instead? Um, we can help you fix a bad relationship. You have a bad relationship with Grace? Oh, uh, we can help you. Um, I I want I want to help her out. I feel bad that like she like she's not getting along with her fiance. Let's gossip. Cause why not? Let's let's do a separate conversation. We'll thank we'll thank Amelia for coming. We'll we'll leave Daryl to watch TV and we'll thank Amelia for coming. Bulgelna, Storbidu, Gelna, Bamboo, Haga, Rix. Hey, this is going well at least. Um, we can congratulate her on our engagement. Sure, let's do that. We don't really know her that well. We have no reason to know that she's engaged. Oh, Tomax, you're back and you're fully dressed. Thank you. Congratulations, we're so excited for your engagement. Can't wait for your wedding. That's actually really nice. I feel like we could get along with Amelia better. Like, we had we had a bad first impression. Like, on our part, like, she was already angry because of Daryl. I get the feeling, like, there's something going on with Daryl, maybe. I know some of the lore. I know that the lore, like, some of the lore is, like, that, like, she's not getting along with Daryl's family, and Daryl comes from, like, this really prestigious family of, like, spellcasters and such. I feel like we could probably get along with Amelia. I think that'd be nice. We could get along with Amelia, and we can get along with Grace. Daryl's just not easy to get along with, and Tomax just streaks the first thing, so, who knows. <laughs> Oh! At the very least, we're in a playful mood here with Amelia, so that's fun. Oh, never mind. Amelia did not- Oh, I guess Amelia did seem to be cool with that. Okay. At the very least, Amelia's not angry anymore. We're getting along with her. Oh dear. Uh, Daryl, are you okay? Oh, you're just grabbing some fruit cake. I thought he was gonna start, like, screaming at us. Anyways, I, time is going a little bit more slowly. I wonder if that might be contributing to the lag, so I might have to, like, behind the scenes... Great, he's going streaking again. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll just ignore that. Anyways, I, my brain is, like, starting to, like, get a little bit too fried. It is, like, 2 a.m. right now, so you know what? This might be about a good time to wrap up this episode. It's just the first episode. Not much has happened. We're just kind of in the middle of chatting with our neighbors. 
behind the scenes, I'm gonna probably put the time back to completely normal, with whatever the default is. And, um, hopefully, uh, you guys uh, feel free to, like, start submitting your sims, and I will try to start adding them to my game. It might be an, it might be an episode or two before I start, like, oh, these two aren't getting along. Can I help you guys? I will help fix your bad relationship. Like, whoa, whoa, what, what, what's going on? Why do you guys not get along? Like, they both agreed to come here together, so... I, I was thinking, like, it would be so much fun to have, like, these three, like, be, like, just a trio of friends, but apparently, like... Oh, did, did we fix it? Did we fix their issues? I don't know, everyone's suddenly quiet. Um... Amelia! We've, we've only just met you. I think it's a little too soon to ask for an invitation to the wedding. I, I'd like one, probably. I've heard, like, there's been some issues with the pack. I, like, I, I think the issues have mostly been fixed, but still. We can have a deep conversation. Let's have a deep conversation. I feel like Grace is gonna wind up getting added to it as well. Oh, we need to properly thank Grace for coming, too. Anyways, my, my brain is- my brain really is a little bit fried right now, so I'm gonna wrap up the episode shortly. Uh, feel free to- again, uh, like, if you guys missed it, uh, feel free to submit your sims to the challenge. Uh, ho hopefully next episode, things will start picking up a little bit. Um, next episode I'm gonna try and, like, fix some, like, the minor issues I've been having. I- I have been known to have a lot of issues when it comes to like, glitches and stuff with Sims 4, but I guess it's kind of just par for the course at this point. It's fine. Everything's fine. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Evermore Legacy, please feel free to like hit the like buttons and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. Subscribing is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe at any time, but it does really help out the channel if you do subscribe. So again, guys, thank you all so much, and I will see you in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.